channel. Today we're doing a bit of beefing up to the Wildcat so this and this doesn't happen again. All right, so last night we worked on the Wildcat, took some parts off. Lower radius rods and the front tie rods. And then we also cut some steel. And we're going to use this steel right here to re reinforce these parts right here. So let me walk you guys through this plan. We're going to start with the tie rods. Um, so for the tie rods, I'm actually going to replace this one. I think it's too bent. I might try to straighten this and save it as a spare. Um, but I actually bought another one. We'll get to that. But um, this one's perfect. So we're going to reinforce this one and then replace the other one and reinforce it as well. So this doesn't happen again. What I plan to reinforce these with is uh, 4130 chrome molly. 7 8 outside diameter, 058 wall, and I've written it down here for you guys, tubing. So, um, yeah, I'll send you guys, or I'll put a link down in the description where I got this. I'm in Canada, so I got it from an aircraft supply store. It was 16 bucks per, for a two-foot length, so fairly cheap. This stuff's pretty strong. I mean, it doesn't look very thick, but this is sleeving the aluminum, so I think that'll make our tire rods plenty strong. Um... Show you guys that in a second. That's what I'm gonna do first. But we'll just walk through the lower radius rods first. So these typically people are buying high clearance ones. I didn't want to re really want to spend that money yet. So I'm gonna to try to straighten this one out, and then we're gonna sleeve it with uh, this seven or sorry three quarter inch schedule eighty pipe. So that's not actually the the three quarter inch is not the outside diameter because it's piping. So pipe is uh, measured in a different way. But anyway. According to my calculations, it should fit pretty snug over this. We'll find out soon. There's a bit of a, a seam in there, so that might cause a bit of a challenge, but we'll deal with that. Anyway, this does pretty heavy walls, so it should add a significant amount of beef. Um, yeah, so this bent because it got caught on something like a stump or a rock or whatever, so uh, I think this will help a lot. Um, this stuff's fairly cheap. Just I won't throw a link because I just got it from the local yard, but I mean, I paid $20 for a 10 foot piece there. Um, so it's not super expensive. I, I'm pretty sure you guys could find that anywhere. So anyway, there it is again. There's what I'm using in case you guys want to try this as well at home. Um, but yeah, we'll start with the tie rods. Let's get to work. There you go. Thank you, eBay. Before taking the tie rods apart, I want to get a reference measurement from end to end so that I could get this close when I put it back together. I don't need to guess. Little trick. This is a normal thread here. This is a right-handed thread. And because you could adjust these through this little... So if you, if you loosen these at both ends when it's on the machine and you turn this... This lengthens or shortens your tie rod length, so that's how you adjust toe. Um, unfortunately, we won't have that feature anymore when we sleeve this. You won't be able to get a wrench on there. You could use a pipe wrench or, or whatever. You could remove it, turn it, and then put it back on. Um, so I'm not too concerned because it's, it's not something you adjust often. However, um, the point I'm trying to make here is this is a normal nut here. If you go to this end, this is, and you're trying to remove these, See these little notches? My camera's not really focusing, but there's little notches in the in the nut. That means this is a left-hand thread. So you actually have to spin this the opposite way that you normally would to, to remove something. So. Look how nice those fit. It's so perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue in there basically so that they don't, you know, spin. And then my plan is to use these washers from that same place, uh, from that aircraft store. Actually, there it is right there. So I'll put a link in the description for the exact washers I'm, I'm going to use. So that should retain, sorry, that should retain the, the, uh, the chrome molly. It's the exact same diameter as the chrome molly. So that should retain it. And then, uh, and then this just gets threaded on and pin pinches it in there. That's my plan. Um, and then just splash some paint on them and bolt everything together and we're done for the front tie rods. So pretty easy. I think I'm going to clean these up though before I uh, glue them just to make sure we get some good adhesion. So 
So I taped up the ends. And now I'm just gonna use whatever glue I, I found this in the tool box. While those are drying, we're going to work on the rear radius rods. So I'm going to be doing some welding on these. Um, first thing I want to do is pop these joints out. So there's a little notch in there. That's the side that the clip's on. Got to pop the clip out and then hopefully these come out just fine. Take all four of them out. Straightening this piece is going to be the challenge here, so we're going to give it a shot. Don't really know how well this is going to work. Look at that. You probably can't even tell which one the bent one is. Take a guess. Uh, it's this one because it's got the marks on it. So the plan here is pretty simple. Take the two ends and pop them into the tube and then weld them up. So here you can see I got this in there. So plop them in like that, like that. Um, it fits a little looser than I would have liked, but it'll get the job done. So instead of just welding the ends here and here, my plan is to put a couple holes in this so that I can do a couple plug welds as we go. I'll probably, I don't know, throw half a dozen of them in there. Probably do kind of a slot where, the, where this cut is so that I could just kind of run a bead along there. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, instead of trying to drill holes, I think I'm just going to use the, the plasma cutter to cut the slots and the holes, weld it up, paint them, and then reassemble everything. All right, so here's one that's done. Um, just ready for paint. And here's one in progress, so you can see I put some plug welds there, there, there's a, there's six. Now I just need to run a pass down the middle here where there's kind of a slot. I'm going to fill that with weld and weld the ends there and there. And then uh, smooth it all out just like I did with this one. And then we're ready for paint. the video I took some measurements so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same here try to get try to get these to the same spot they were before so that at least it's a good starting point um, before I do the alignment so so I'd say that was a super easy modification front and rear the rear is a little more complex because you have to do some welding but anybody with you know the basic tools plus a welder could do those I went for a ride to make sure everything was fine but I wouldn't expect anything to be off um, Basically, I just made those parts stronger, so really we're not going to get to test those until we go maybe back to Camp Carson and get into some rocks again, I don't know, or whatever. So one thing I forgot to mention is, if the glue didn't hold well enough on the tie rods, um, I wouldn't be able to tighten the ball joints because, because of the left-hand thread, you have to spin them the same direction. So what you have to do is you have to hold the tie rod to, put, to tighten those. And surprisingly, that worked really well um, cause there's no flat, like I was showing you guys earlier in the video. So my, uh, backup plan was to drill a hole right through the tie rod and put a like quarter inch, uh, bolt through there to hold, to keep it from spinning. But it turns out the glue's working perfect. So, um, I'll report back if that turns into an issue in the future, if those loosen off and I can't get them to tighten up because the glue lets go. But, uh, so far so good. 
throw a comment down there. Let me know how you guys uh, strengthened your tie rods or maybe you guys just bought better ones. That's probably the path most of you, most of you guys choose. But uh, by all means, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button as usual. And we'll see you next time. Probably working on the shop some more.